This is the Tangem Hardware Wallet and with this you can store your precious cryptocurrencies safely from hackers. It's very easy to use and set up. It does not have any batteries or screens so you don't have to worry about it running out of use. You can also seamlessly send, receive and swap cryptocurrencies so that you're able to take profits on the go when interesting price action occurs. Plus, it's added benefit of very affordable pricing. My name is Tashi, I do videos on crypto related stuff, let's get right into it. So the Tangem Hardware Wallet wallet is a sleek, elegant plastic card and it's also shaped like a credit card like the ones that you would find in your normal physical wallet, the one that you keep in your pocket or whatever, I don't know. So with that said, you could carry your Tangium hardware wallet inside your own physical wallet. Though I don't really advise you to do that and I'll get into why later on in this video. And inside the plastic card is a ship that has a very high security standard rating and this specific security standard rating is EAL6+. Plus, and you can can scan the cards themselves with any device that supports NFC and has the Tangem app. Any iPhone newer than the iPhone 7 supports NFC. And the software itself behind the ship in the plastic card is confirmed to have no backdoors by two independent companies. And the first company is Kudelski Security and the second one is Rescure. This ensures that there are no backdoors in the cards that enables Tangem to go grab your cryptocurrencies without your consent, which is of course very good. The Tangem hardware wallet is also IP68 rated, which means that you can fully submerge the cards without having to worry about your private key being destroyed. It's also resistant to dust, so you could take it in a ride in the dune buggy, but just make sure that you don't lose the card itself. It can also handle hot and cold temperatures, and it can handle hot temperatures up to 50 degrees Celsius, and cold temperatures down to negative 25 degrees Celsius. And that isn't really too surprising, I mean it's a plastic card with a ship inside. It's also resistant to x-ray, electromagnetic pulses and electrostatic discharges. So you could also bring it through airport security without having to worry about your private key being destroyed. Also, as stated before in the beginning, it does not have any batteries. I mean, it's just a ship, so that removes potential points of failure like screens, cables, batteries. None of that will ever be a problem because it's just a ship. That's pretty much all about the card itself. Let's look at some other interesting features about the software and the app. When setting up the Tandem hardware wallet, your private keys generated that no one can see. Not you, not Tandem, not anyone. Then this private key that got generated gets copied onto the other cards that you got when you ordered using the Diffie Hellman protocol, which is a method that has been used for a very long time in cryptography. And this is what sets Tandem apart from other crypto hardware wallets, because with other crypto hardware wallets, you have to write down a specific number of words, which is your seed phrase and this seed phrase is essentially your private key. So if anyone who isn't you sees this seed phrase, they could pretty much access all of your cryptocurrencies inside that hardware wallet. So the seed phrase is also like a last shot at getting your cryptocurrencies if you have lost your crypto hardware wallet. But instead with Tangem, you copy the private key onto multiple cards. So if you lose one of the cards, you at least have one card that you can access your cryptocurrencies with. Though there is option to set up the Tangem hardware wallet with a seed phrase as well. It's really a matter of preference. Some like to have a seed phrase, some do not. Personally, I believe it's a slight security risk to have a seed phrase when you have the Tandem hardware wallet, because if someone sees those words, then they could get a hold of your cryptocurrencies. And I mean, you have at least one backup card, depending on how many you ordered. And if you lose one of the cards, you can just take one of the other cards that you have as a backup card and access your cryptocurrencies via that way. But now, if you've decided and set up your Tandem hardware hardware wallet without a seed phrase, just make sure that you store your cards in different geological locations. Because let's take for example, if you store all of the cards under the same house and that house accidentally burns up, then you lose all of your cards and your private key and also your cryptocurrencies. And the Tandem app itself is kind of built like a hot wallet. You can check in and monitor price movements and check what the value of your cryptocurrency is at. But whenever you want to do anything with your cryptocurrencies like send or swap, you need to have a card to scan. The Tanya map also has Wallet Connect, so you can connect your crypto wallets to other decentralized applications and services. Now, I said in the beginning that you can carry your Tanya hardware wallet inside your normal physical wallet, which you can, but I don't advise you to. For example, someone sees you on the subway using your Tanya hardware wallet, just sending some cryptocurrencies or whatever, then that person can decide to follow you into a dark corner or whatever and rob you and make you 
give them your cryptocurrencies, which is not ideal. Now, I don't know exactly how likely this scenario would be, but it could be a potential risk. I don't really know. So what you could do is that you could have two sets of Tangem cards, one wallet which you store the majority of your cryptocurrencies on and that you also store safely behind some books or a shelf. And then you can have one wallet which you don't have that much cryptocurrencies on that you do trades back in and to from regularly. The code for the Tangem app is open source, which means that if Tangem were to go bankrupt, some other guy or woman could just copy the code from GitHub and re-upload a new app. Now you pretty much know how the cards work and the software, so here's how to order. Press the link at the top of the description to get to the official Tangem website where you can choose between buying a set of two cards or three cards. It depends on how many backup cards you want to have if you lose one of them or two. And also note the affordable pricing here. There's not that many other crypto hardware wallets that can compete with this pricing structure. And this also makes Tangem a really great option if you want to onboard someone new to crypto like some family member or a close friend because of its affordable pricing structure and easiness to set up and use. Just a quick heads up, if you really want a Tanium hardware wallet, make sure to order one because you really never know when they go out of stock. They usually sell out every now and then, so make sure to get your hands on a set of cards if you really want them. Now let's get on with setting up the Tanium app and the wallet itself. So you can begin with downloading the official Tanium app using the link down below. So here's the box that the Tanium cards come in. It's very sleek and elegant and it kind of gives the same vibe as the iPhone boxes. Let's open it up and there they are, the Tanium cards. Note that these cards are white, which was a limited edition campaign, so they might be out of stock on these white cards when you're watching this video. And then you'll probably get the black cards instead, but they of course look very good as well. In the box, you also receive a getting started note with a QR code for the app and some easy instructions. But you don't need that. That's what I'm here for. Install and open the Tanium app and press scan card. Or if you don't have a set of cards already, you can press order cards, but just remember to use the code TASHI with all caps to save 10% on your purchase. After you've pressed scan card, you do use that, you scan the card and then accept the legal disclaimer. And then it's time to set up the crypto wallet itself. And here we can choose between setting it up with or without seed phrases. My personal preference is to not have a seed phrase for my Tandium wallet, so I decided to not set up this wallet with a seed phrase. But if you want to set up yours with a seed phrase, just press other options and you can set it up with a seed phrase. In the tab other options, you can also import seed phrases from other wallets. When you've pressed create wallet, you need to scan one of the cards again. And after that, it's time to add the backup cards. So you just press add backup card and scan the backup cards and do that for the amount of backup cards that you have. And once you're done, press finalize backup and create your access code. And if you have this access code and one of the cards, you can access your cryptocurrencies from any device that supports NFC and also has the Tangium app. And after that, you'll have to scan the primary card for 15 seconds. And you'll also have to do that for the two other cards. It's just shaking so it's a legitimate Tangium card and also setting up the wallet itself. And then you can also choose to enable Face ID if you want to be able to monitor your cryptocurrencies using Face ID. Now note that you will not be able to send or do anything with your cryptocurrencies using only Face ID. You still need the cards to do anything with your crypto. You can add more cryptocurrencies by pressing manage tokens and then you can search for the token that you want and choose the networks that you want to be supported. And if you want to connect the wallet using Wallet Connect, you can press the three dots up in the right corner to connect your wallet using Wallet Connect. Now the wallet is all set up and running. Just please remember to store your cards in different geological locations and never tell anyone your access code that you can't trust. And also never keep the access code on any device that is connected to the internet. Or if you decided to set the cards up with a seed phrase, don't keep those seed phrases on any device that is connected to the internet as well. Now if you've made your decision and want to buy yourself or someone new a hardware wallet, then you can click the link at the top of the description to get to the official legitimate Tangem website. And that way you can also be assured that you're getting a legitimate set of cards. And you also get 10% off by using my link. As I said before, they are often out of stock. So if you really want a set of cards, then make sure to get yours before they're out of stock again. Now, if you're interested in general crypto content, then make sure to press that subscribe button and like button. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tashi. Goodbye.